Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome my beautiful beings of light. You are ever flowing and constantly evolving. My beloveds what you were yesterday does not match what you are today and neither will tomorrow resemble what you sense you are now. My divine beings of light you are like the mythical butterfly constantly metamorphosing into higher and higher conscious awareness and remembrance. My divine beings of grace you are learning and remembering in each moment. This evolutionary process brings with it a need to daily clear and release all of the old programming along with the belief systems that no longer apply to or support your highest good. Your angels and spirit guides will be delighted to assist you in daily clearing and requalifying all this energy debris. Simply ask your angels and spirit guides to assist you in clearing each day by saying something like this please clear me now, thank you, and so it is. After they have assisted in the clearing and releasing ask them to requalify that energy debris back into divine love and light. Just like your physical body that needs to be cleaned and maintained daily, so too. Does your energetic body require daily maintenance? When you think about your energetic body my beloveds, visualize it, if you like, as a large invisible egg-shaped energy mass extending out from your physical bodies in all directions about 9 feet for most humans and some highly evolved beings extends into infinity. Also picture this egg-shaped energy mass with many many colored bands all representing your history and lineage. Realizing that your energy fields are that large, you can then better understand in a visual perception sense, how each thing that you interact with or pass by will connect with your energies as everything is energy based. Everything that your energy field touches communicates with the other's energy field and will leave debris that doesn't belong to you or vice versa. This debris from others can simply be cleared in the same way. Or perhaps you would like to visualize your angels and spirit guides using a giant vacuum cleaner to vacuum up the debris from others, as well as any of your own thought forms that have not manifested. You may not grasp that unmanifested thought forms are floating out in your energy fields as well. So there is lots of debris that requires removal to deactivate it. This cleaning process is one of the ways you can assist yourselves in staying centered and balanced. Part of your remembrance is understanding that this debris is constantly communicating within your energy fields, regardless of whose debris it is. One of the symptoms that you might be able to recognize in this debris process is that you may feel tired and exhausted all the time. Try clearing that debris stuff and see if that doesn't perk you up a bit. Perhaps you haven't remembered yet, my beloveds, that you are known in the higher ethers by your energy footprint, if you will. Each has their own special energy pattern. This is your signature and identification system and it proceeds the body and expands as it merges back with the you that you really after your physical transition into your life between lives or home energy presence. Remember that you are like a river, you are ever flowing and constantly becoming so much grander than you can ever imagine. Moment by moment you are changing and growing my beloveds. There are no words on the earth plane that can convey your brilliance and mastery. The heavenly light beings marvel at your courage and salute your devotion. You are making a difference, job well done, thank you. Allow this messenger to take you on a mediation journey to practice and remember. Sit in a chair or lie down so that you are comfortable. Uncross your arms and legs, as this blocks the flow of energy. If you chill easily cover up with a light blanket. It's time to be comfortable and undisturbed for a while as you journey within yourself through meditation. Close your eyes and take a few comfortable deep breaths in and out. Visualize with each in breath, you are breathing in love and renewal. With each out breath, you are breathing out pain, fear, frustration, and doubts. With your final exhale let it all go with a sigh as you are breathing out all frustrations of the day. Feel your total body relaxing and give yourself permission to feel the calm and peace. My beloveds ask your ego self to perch on your left shoulder. Instruct your ego self that it is only to be an observer on this journey, it is not to participate. 
If it helps you to visualize your ego self by identifying it as a symbol or as an object please do so. My beautiful beings of light, in your imagination ask through prayer for the Creator to send you a protective ray of white light, by mentally praying something like this my Creator, I am asking please for a protective ray of white light to enfold me in love and lift me up, so that I am experiencing the very highest of vibrations during this journey into my innermost depths of understanding and being. My Creator I am protecting myself on this journey from anything that is not for my highest good. I am thanking you my Creator for this ray. I am visualizing the ray in my imagination now coming down through the corner of the area where I am meditating. I am sensing it entering into my physical form, permeating all that is within my I am presence. My Beloveds, the Creator has responded to your prayer and has gifted you with an pearlescent white ray plus a soft golden ray and one emerald green fluid ray for this journey. The rays are entering into your body through the solace of your feet and moving up through your physical vessel, permeating throughout all of your etheric energy fields, along with your physical vessel and into all corners of the actual area where you are. The gifted rays are exiting through your crown chakra. The rays are returning to the Creator and cycling back down through you again, and back to the Creator in a continuous circular loop while you are in meditation. You are now divinely protected at this moment and nothing can even communicate with you, that is not for your highest good, without your permission. My divine beings of grace, you are breathing very slowly and evenly now, you are feeling so secure and safe. So at peace breathe in deeply my beautiful beings of light and sense the lighter relaxed feelings of being divinely protected and guided into this meditation. Breathe in deeply and know that you are breathing to the pulse of the Creator. Breathe in deeply allowing, seeing and sensing within your spiritual imagination your guardian angels and invited spirit guides as they join you now. The angels take your spiritual etheric essence hands and guide you out of your physical body. The angels then direct you into your etheric spiritual heart chakra. An angel is staying with your physical essence until you return from your meditation journey. My beloveds, you are visualizing, seeing, feeling and sensing this within your imagination, your guardian angels, spirit guides and special invited guests are with you now within your spiritual heart chakra. Your angels and guides are helping you locate the golden door that says to my highest guidance within. In your imagination you have located the golden door and now you turn the etheric spiritual door knob, opening the door as you cross over the threshold knowing that you are on a spiritual growth adventure. You find yourself in a white marble corridor. You follow your angels and spirit guides down the hall to the eighth door to your left. The door label says debris removal. You open the door and find you are outside in a meadow. You see a large wheelbarrow to your right. Your angels ask you to have a seat in the wheelbarrow. Hum. You say to yourself, you've never ridden in wheelbarrow before this might be fun. You have a seat in the wheelbarrow and it takes four angels to pick up the handles to roll you down the path. The angels explain that your energy fields are so loaded with debris that you are not able to fit in a standard light vehicle. You roll for a ways in the wheelbarrow and see that there is some type of open air stations that your angels are taking you to. It is always fun to see what the angels have for you as their imaginations are never limited to earth plane realms or structures or equipment. You arrive at what is labeled a wayside clearing station. Here you see your angels do something quite amazing. They actually disconnect you from your energy fields and have you stand about 10 feet away. It feels kind of like taking of a coat if you will. As you stand there watching what is about to be a huge cleaning process you realize from this distance, how large and expansive your own energy field really is. You also notice a lot of black, grey and discolored stuff scattered about the various colored bands. Your angels explain that you can distinguish the difference between the types of debris by looking at the colors. For instance they point out that what has mingled from someone else's energy fields is black. The thoughts not materialized are dark grey. The outdated belief systems and outdated programming are greenish grey. The cleaning process begins first with the angels taking a large vacuum cleaner and suctioning out what they can. 
The next tool looks like a steam cleaning wand and what the vacuum couldn't remove the steam cleaner works toward. For that hard to remove and caked on debris the angels then take a giant toothbrush and finish up the cleaning job. The angels sprinkle on a color enhancer and take a tuning fork to rebalance all the tones. The angels take a heavenly color chart and tweak the colors back to their brilliance and finish the job off with a quick blow dry, fluffing your energy fields all back up. Standing and looking at your energy fields all cleaned and attuned you can really tell the difference in the colors. The angels direct you back over to your energy fields and they reattach you to them. They use a scanner and do some last minute aligning so that all is back in perfection. The first thing you notice is your tiredness is diminishing. The next thing is you feel more centered and peaceful. You can tell the difference right away. The only thing that they have not worked with yet, are the various cords that need to be cut, these are also buried amongst the fields and within the human chakra system. These cords are from judgments that others have made about you, as well as any psychic attacks that might have been directed towards you for whatever reason. The angels hand you a special mirror and as you look you see the cords that are anchored into the fields with their hooks. The angels ask you if you want to cut the cords, or if you prefer that they cut them. You ask the angels to cut the cords and you point them out to the angels as you see them in the mirror. As the cords are cut you begin feeling even more energy returning back into your energy fields. You can tell the difference because your mind is now clearing. The last cord has been cut and the angels once again use their scanner and check your energy fields. This time you are given a clean bill of energetic health. You are smiling and feel so much better, it is amazing how much these unseen disturbances affect you. You thank the angels profusely and tell them how very much you appreciate their assistance in this clearing. You notice this large overstuffed trash dumpster over to the side and ask the angels to now requalify all that unbalanced negative debris so that it can be converted back into pure divine love and divine light. With a single tap of an angelic hand the trash dumpster is cleared and vaporized. You feel at peace and ready to return. The angels have called in your need for a ride back to where you started. In the blink of an eye, a white Rolls Royce limousine pulls up. The angels open the door for you and you hop inside. You tell the angels that you are riding in style now as you all laugh and enjoy the luxury of this beautiful vehicle. The angels point to the chauffeur and you recognize it instantly as the creator itself. You smile and know instantaneously that you are now on the right path. The creator turns to greet you and you reconnect. You hear your very own song playing on the radio the song that was created just for you when you were birthed into the Amen verse. That song takes you back to the source of that overwhelming love, that only the Creator can provide. You are in bliss, in perfect balance and harmony. You are loved beyond measure and you will never forget that feeling again. The Creator drives you back to your starting point. Another love wave surrounds you as you exit the car. The Creator reiterates that you are every flowing and growing, remember the Creator tells you remember. You thank the Creator for the love and the ride. You quickly find yourself back in the white marble corridor. You catch a glimpse of your glowing essence in the mirror. You smile because this has been an extraordinary journey. Your angels lead you back across the threshold of the golden door within back into your spiritual heart chakra and then they assist the return of your spiritual essence back into your physical form. Take a deep breath to help you reorient as you wiggle your fingers and toes. When you are ready open your eyes. Go about your day remembering that your inner higher wisdom and angelic support staff are always at your service working with you to help you reach your highest most appropriate potential. Listen for those first thoughts that pop into your awareness and know without a shadow of a doubt that you are receiving daily spiritual guidance. Beloveds you are blessed beyond words and loved beyond measure, more than any earth plain language can ever express. I am Archangel Michael, the Creator's messenger of love, joy, wisdom, light, peace and grace.